Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay. How are you doing? How are you doing on this uh, nice free day for you before the clash with Fabiano tomorrow? Yeah, it's one of the best parts of the tournament, the free days. You get to <laughs> uh, enjoy, rest a bit, prepare. You got the job, the job done yesterday. So today you're in the trophy room. I think you've got some kids coming along for some photo opportunities and autographs. Do you normally get this sort of attention in the tournaments in the States uh, back home? Yeah, usually, I mean, in St. Louis, it chess has become like super popular and um, there's a lot of interaction with the, with the public there. So uh, regarding tomorrow's match, of course, uh, I don't want you to give uh, any details, which of course you can't, you can't give. But uh, I talked to Fabiano yesterday and he thought it was more or less a 50-50 uh, venture tomorrow against him. But I did check that your past history with him was not not that good. He even mentioned that you played with him in the World Cup in 2009, I think. Yes. And uh, although you were a big favorite then, uh, at that point, he, he eliminated you. Do you top players, elite players, think that past history uh, is important to consider future events? I mean, sometimes when you have like a massively good or bad score against an opponent, it can, can become some sort of psychological issue but other than that I, I mean if it's if it's just normal results I don't think it it uh, matters much uh, what matters is just uh, your current form and the current situation um, so I think it's it's that way with with uh, with this match I I obviously he's he's uh, uh, the favorite but I don't really uh, think too much about that I just know that I have chances and I'll, I'll, I'll try to, to, to do my best and to, to, to use my chances. He did recognize in the interview that uh, he thought that you were playing very good chess here. He'd been following your games and I've been seeing some of the games as well, especially the game you played uh, where you played this rookie three and all of these uh, H4, H5. It seems to me that your form is quite good here. I also uh, uh, saw that your your physical shape is is, is spectacular, uh, so that must uh, make some sense. You've been doing some extra uh, uh, non-chess work to get up to good form here. Yeah, I don't know about spectacular, but I I have done some some work in that regard. I I'm not such a young player anymore, and I realized that I need to um, um, kind of pay attention to my physical form because otherwise. It's just uh, too difficult to to perform really well at this level, and uh, I think it's going well. I mean, I I I felt pretty good from the start of the tournament. Um, of course, some days you have some highlights, and uh, like this first game against uh, Serrano was was good. I thought I was playing well, uh, but uh, but you never know. This tournament it's it's quite tough because the the pressure and the tension keep building up, and at some point you can feel it, but. Uh, yeah, all that matters to me is that um, I also feel that I'm, I'm playing decent and, and that I have uh, uh, good chances that I got really, really far. I think it's uh, probably my best uh, result in, in World Cups. I mean, I got pretty far also in 2004. I think I also got to the quarterfinals, but it's, it's been a long time. Uh, so, yeah, overall, pretty, uh, pretty happy with the way things uh, have gone so far and I'll, I'll try to, to keep playing well. Of course, um, already for some years you've been playing in the USA team. So you've had to uh, be a teammate of Fabiano in several uh, strong tournaments, most recently in Chennai in, um, in the Olympiad. I expect many of the people that are listening to this interview might think, of course, these guys, they train together, they're in the same team, they know each other very well. They talk about openings when they face different opponents in this team. How are you able to balance that with the things you have to do in a direct match with your opponent tomorrow? Yeah, it is true that we we worked together, um, most notably in, in 2018 when I was helping Fabiano prepare for, for his World Championship match. Um, and of course, it's also true that we shared many uh, uh, moments um, during the Olympiad, uh, but you know, with modern chess, I think it, it goes so fast that, uh, like uh, talking about 2018, five years, 
it's it's uh, an eternity of time like things change so much uh in five years they change so much in i guess six months that uh in terms of uh openings and things like that i don't think there is any issue like you can always find some fresh stuff to to play and 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 just uh it's not too much of an issue uh anymore Although you're still very much in this event, I would like to ask you two questions about the future, if that's okay with you. The first one, uh, Dusseldorf. Are you planning to go to play the world teams in Dusseldorf? Tell me a bit about your team there. What are your chances? Who are your teammates? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to, to go to Dusseldorf. I'm very excited about the, the event. I mean, it's a, it's a team tournament. I love team tournaments, I always say it, because it's, uh, it's, it's fun just to, to interact and to discuss the game and also to feel this uh, uh, additional element of, of the of the group, of the team, trying to help and so on. So it should be great fun. Our team uh, is called the Chess Pensioners or something like that, <laughs> which is a fun name. And I think maybe quite accurate, probably, uh, to some extent. But anyway, Spiedler is there. With, uh, uh, good friend and uh, I think Kramnik is also there a lot of interesting players so yeah it should be fun I'm definitely looking forward to that well, I hadn't expected the the word chess pensioners but this does segue quite well into my final question you're 39 okay um, most players or a lot of very top elite players for example Vladimir Kramnik you just mentioned uh, decide to finish their careers, to end their careers around the age of 40, 41, 42 even. Of course, we have examples like Peter Zwidler or Gelfand, the Ivanchuk, who carry on, no? Have you thought about that, number one? And number two, if you are thinking about retiring from competitive chefs around this age, what are your plans for the future? Uh, teaching, commentating, what other interests do you have which your followers might be interested in? Well, I haven't gotten that far yet, but of course I have thought about the the issue in general. And uh, I'm, to be honest, I'm just navigating myself. Uh, what's what's the way to go? What's what's really going on in in my specific situation? Of course, because I guess everyone is a bit different. But uh, one thing is for sure is that uh, I understood that I have to. I mean, if if I want to, let's say, play a uh, few years more and stay uh, on a decent level, you have to, uh, I had to change some things because I was hardly paying any attention to my physical shape before, for example, to be honest, and or to my diet and, and, and was pretty careless with my sleep and my routine during tournaments and those things. Uh, yeah. just if, if, if you, yeah, if you, <clears throat> if you do that, then there's no, no chance to, for example, be like Vichy or, 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 or some, some other, guy like that yeah so i definitely want to to play chess uh, for a little longer so um what other interests do you have outside chess that might shape your future maybe in a few years time i mean i i do enjoy uh teaching i've done it a little bit uh, especially when i had uh, in the past uh, some some longer periods of time uh, without playing mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, I would I would say any anything I would I would do would be of course in some way related to chess because it's um, it's what we love. I mean, it's what I've been doing my whole life, and and I still love it. But uh, but again, uh, for me the the main point is still playing. You live in St. Louis, is that correct? Any plans of moving around later, or that's where you want to spend? the rest of your life as a way of saying i mean it's always hard to say yeah, because everything can change in a moment it's very difficult to to predict that but in a way we i mean for, we came of course because of because of chess because of the club and 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 now that we uh we have been there for uh for uh, four years mm -hmm. uh it's i mean it's it's kind of nice in the sense that we we're part of the community a little bit we, we have created new friendships and um, my son is there, he's in a, a school age and uh, we, we have made all those connections and of course that matters and, and I think it's, uh, um, it's a good place to be and um, for the foreseeable future I don't, I don't see myself um, going anywhere else. Linear. 
Thank you very much for coming to this interview on your rest day. I know you have a lot of other things to do. Most importantly, prepare the game tomorrow with Fabiano. But uh, you're one of the guys who understand that this also is uh, very important for the fans who are following us to get to know you better. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.